Hello and welcome to the PC Michigan Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain, and in the Faster 7 series today, I'm going to show you how to disable the Windows Defender service. Now, the Windows Defender service was implemented into Windows to protect you from viruses and spyware and malware, and if you do not have adequate protection already, or if you aren't comfortable with disabling the service, then don't do it. But if you're comfortable with the protection that you have from whatever antivirus or anti-malware you might be running, this service is definitely worth, dis worth disabling because you don't want it running in the background. Now to do this, just go down to your start button and select it. And we're going to type in services.msc. And then we're going to go up to the top where the programs are listed. And we're going to right click on it and select run as administrator. When the services window comes up, it's very easy to find. It's just like the Windows update we found before. Just scroll down until you get down to Windows Defender. And here it is on mine. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to set this service to manual. Uh, you can disable it if you'd like, that way it never enables itself. But usually I like to keep things on manual because you never know when you might need to enable them. And they won't enable themselves unless you go to use them. So go ahead and right click on Windows Defender and select Properties. And at this point we're going to set the startup type to manual. Yours will probably be set to automatic. And then we're going to select Apply. And then after that, just select OK. And on the upper left-hand corner here, if the service is enabled, just click collect. <laughs> just select Stop, and that will shut down the service, and it will not re-enable it until you need to use it again. Now, that's all there is to this video. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings. If you have questions, just swing by the forum at PCMichiana.com. And remember, Windows Defender is a... A modest protection at best. It's not like it's, you know, live or die by. If you don't have it enabled, it will, you know, you won't be protected. Uh, most third-party software does a better job. Thanks again.